Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the adventures of Gary Glitter. That's right, it's glitter time. For those of you that don't know, Gary is a character on my farming sim playthrough. He's one of the helpers on the farm. And this is the story that led him to our farm. Hey gang, welcome back to something a little bit different, a little bit fun on the channel, Fishing North Atlantic. It's a game that I have had on my wish list for a long time and I wanted to get back to. I have played Fishing Barrent Sea, but this game offers so much more in terms of uh, exploration and finding ships and that sort of stuff and a little bit different as well. Now it's set up in Nova Scotia which is um, part of Canada. Now if uh, you want the English translation for that, uh, Nova Scotia means New Scotland for those of you that didn't know. It is, uh, if you're looking at it's on the eastern coast of uh, Canada, uh, right way 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 above New York if, you, if you're trying to think of where. For those of you who start a new career that don't know my um, farming sim series, I have uh, the helpers that I get are uh, Rachel and Gary. Now many of you don't know that Gary's last name is Gla Gary Glitter. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Gary Glitter. And this is the story of Gary Glitter before he came and joined us on the farm. So he used to do fishing up in uh, Nova Scotia. Okay, so that's how we're starting. Gary Glitter is our name. Gary Glitter is our game. Uh, difficulty, we're just going to leave it on easy. We're just going to leave it how it is. I think we can change it later anyway. Um, we can create custom ones. It, the, all you do when you create a custom one is set this. So we're just going to have the starting boat. Otherwise you get like the Mickey. I think the Mickey's are like a big trawler, bigger trawler than the boat we start with anyway. Uh, and all you can really do is uh, change the fish prices and stuff. Uh, just leave it how it is, I think. Uh, how it is. Okay. So let's, without further ado, begin the story of Gary Glitter. Welcome to Nova Scotia, New Scotland. Uh, you begin your career with the fast lobster boat that you have inherited from your rich aunt. I didn't know that Gary had a rich aunt. He never told me that. Uh, with such humble beginnings, it will be a long road to become one of the legendary mariners of North Atlantic. It can't have been that legendary. He's now working for me on a farm. Um, lobster are the best caught from November to May. All fish species in the game can only be fished within its seasons. Please check the in-game wiki to learn more about their seasons. Okay, we'll check all that out later. But let's not get distracted with dreams of fortune and glory yet. Let's start with the basics. Okay, start with the basics. Uh, now the game looks beautiful. If I think I can um, notch up those graphic things, I probably will notch them up. But anyway, WASD, Wasada to start with. Okay, bit of throttle forward, bit of throttle back, bit of left and a bit of right. Okay, uh, V for view, not like um, not like in um, uh, <laughs> farming sim where it's C for view and V for up and down. Alright, so we can get up and around, we can move around the deck, uh, press E on the wheelhouse to get back in. Yep, beautiful. And then WASD once again when you're in the cockpit. Okay, cool. Very cool. This is the map interface. You can open this by pressing M. Makes sense. Using the buttons below, you can set custom waypoints uh, to plot a route. Or you can select locations that you've previously visited uh, and then fast travel to these locations, which is pretty cool. Okay. Um, you can either drive to the marked area yourself, or if you want, you can plot a route and fast travel there automatically. Okay. An irregular habit Habitat has been spotted um, and a marker has been set. Head there for your first haul. Okay. Right. So this is our ship here. You can see red for port and green for starboard. So port being left and starboard being right. That is the right and left of your ship. Okay. Whoa. Look at all the boats around here. All right. So this is what this is the map we're looking at. This is Nova Scotia itself. A uh, part thereof. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I assume the map might open up a little bit more as well. I don't think. I don't know if that's the full map. I don't know. But anyway, uh, it wants us to go to this point here. So 
if we look uh go back to v view you can see up here we get a bit of a uh, compass up the top here so we're looking at three nordic miles away now we could churn it and burn it that far let's just see how quickly we go now now obviously speed over water is different to speed over land uh and it de depends on your tides and your currents and that sort of stuff but generally the rule of thumb is i think what uh, you take you take how many meters a second you're doing and divide it by eight or something and then you get your you get your speed over water okay that's how, that's how you get your speed uh, it's been a long time since i've done it so i think that's how long it's going to take us to travel there if we do it like that uh, i don't want that we're going to just do this now so to move for memory uh it's been a while i think we click on that hey 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 and then we hit this Watch out, boats! Whoa, just sliced and diced in between there. Right, so now that we've gotten there, we can't be too far away. It looks like our point is just up ahead there, so we'll go full steam. Give me all of the knots, please. We're 605 meters away. Yes, correct me if I'm wrong on that um, speed over water. It's been a while since I've uh, calculated speed over water and that sort of stuff. Uh, but generally, that's the rule of thumb. You take the uh, distance distance per sec uh, uh, meters per second and you divide that to get your uh, speed over water compared to speed over land that is basically anyway all right so we're going to come in here and i think this is still tutorial is it yeah we're lobster tutorialing uh, so this is the little boat we start with the no yankee i think we have the ability to name our vessels later on um, so there'll be some fun in there but gary glitter Let's, let's have a look at Gary in the hot seat. Yeah, it seems a bit framey, a bit laggy. There's Gary there. It seems a bit weird seeing him in a boat and not a tractor. <laughs> I wonder what happened. Maybe he just got fed up with the whole fishing industry. Uh, we'll yet to ask him the story. Uh, maybe we'll find out what happens to Gary Glitter and how he ended up at our farm. That'll be the fun of it, I think. Uh, I don't know what Rachel's doing. Uh, or her backstory. Maybe that's something we can check out down the track. I know she wasn't a fisherman though, uh, so we'll have to figure that out. Uh, get in, delve into Rachel's backstory. But Gary Glitter. Oh, it's good to see. This is a nice. This is a nice boat. I've got to be honest. This is a really nice boat. All right, so here we go. We might just back the throttle down a bit. Okay. Process frozen bait. Uh, block. Now that you've reached the marked area, it's time to process your frozen frozen bait for the post uh, for the pots. Okay. All right, let's back the speed right down then. Okay, we shouldn't be going any of the knots. Shh. Okay. Right. Uh, F to get up. Beautiful. Come down the back here, and we pick up a pot. Beautiful. Put it there. Okay. Take one of your bait bags and bait the pot. Grab frozen bait. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Hey, there we go. Bait the pot. Take one of your bait bags and bait the pot. Done that. Set the bait pot into the sea. Okay. Uh, uh, how do I do that? That came up. It did come up. Set point. Oh, you have to look just a little bit down. Okay, that was a bit that was a bit odd. Now that you have set your first lobster pot, you need to wait a minimum of 18 hours before you can pick it up again. For the purpose of this tutorial, the time is now skipped forward by 20 hours. That's right, because you have to get a perfect window for memory of when you can come back and get stuff. The best time to haul the pots is between 18 and 24 hours. You can see this by looking uh, at the outline color of the boy on the map. When the outline color is blue, uh, it is blue, is it the best time to pick up? It is, I think, the best time to pick up the pot. More details can be found on the, or in the wiki. Okay, cool, cool. So we've gone ahead 18 hours. Go to third person, press E to haul the lobster. Okay, go to third person. Eat. Oh, we're outside of the uh, we're outside of the zone. So let's um, 
Let's just back up a touch here. We're good. We're in it. Okay. Grab the pot line. Grab the pot line and place it in the sorting table. Haul in the line. Got our little haul in button just here. Okay, we're hauling in. Grab the pot. Grab the pot. <laughs> Grab it, Gary. Alright, good job. <laughs> okay, open the pot. This is all very straightforward so far. Okay. Uh, open the... Take one of your... Was that a shark or something? Holy snap and duck fish. That was scary. Um, take one of your stored plastic crates uh, and place it on the sorting table. Is that this thing? Okay. Open the crate. Ah, for open ham. Uh, take one lobster and measure and measurement tool to measure the lobster. The upper body of the lobster has to not fit between the two pins. The upper body of the lobster has to not fit between the two pins. Okay. Of measurement tool from eye to where the tail starts. The lobster has, uh, the lobster, his legal size, select the band to attach. The writing's a bit odd in this. It's throwing me off. Has the lobster, his legal size, select that doesn't make sense. Select the band box to attach elastic bands to the claws and play. That makes sense. Each crate hold approximately 40 to 45 kilograms of lobster. For more detail, check the wiki. Okay. I'm just going to check the wiki here. How do we do that? Um, maybe we do it later. I don't know where we can check the wiki. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Wiki, 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 wiki. Okay. No wiki there. Is it like F1 maybe? No. Nope. All right, well, let's just have a go anyway, see what they mean. All right, I need a bit of light here. Just put this, put this back in the pot for a sec. Okay, have we got some lights on this thing? All right, I've just come up here because I want to see if we've got any lights. Uh, switch off running lights. No, I want to switch... Okay, let's switch on those lights. Work lights, that's what we were doing. The search lights, okay. Alright, so we switch on the lights. That seems a bit better. Now we can actually see what we're doing. Grab a lobster. Okay. I feel like his... Well, I feel like that's okay. Because we can't see his eyes. And I'm putting that in the box. I'm putting that in the... Can I not put that... Oh, no elastic bands, right. Uh, oh, there we go. And uh, put it in there. Beautiful. Next one. I think he, that one's good too. Uh, see, that to me... Uh, see, what do you guys think about that one? Because I can't see his eyes. I'm doing it. We're taking it. <laughs> this one, yeah, we're taking it. This one, we're taking it. This one, I don't think. We'll, we'll return that lobster to the ocean. Whoa, that was a good throw. Oh, we're definitely returning you. Oh, you're a little one. Okay, yeah, we'll band you. In you go. It's hard to really... Know. Like, yeah, I've taken similar ones to that. Okay, we'll take you. Is that it? Close the pot. Store the crate in the tank floor. Uh, close the lid. Grab the crate. So, oh, okay. So we must put it down in there, do we? Head to the marked port where you will be able to sell the lobsters you've just caught and stored. A mission waypoint has been set on your map. Okay. You can either drive to the port yourself or if you want, you can also fast travel there automatically. Okay, well. I, I, do we store it down under there? Is that what actually happened then? Uh, close that pot. We grab that and put it back there. Yeah, okay. I don't want it falling off the edge. And we better shut the, fr the freezer door, eh? Okay, let's get back in the hot seat. Where are we heading to here? Map. 
Ooh, up in here. Okay, let's do a bit of fast traveling to here then, shall we? Cannot cross. Oh, there's an island there. My island home. All right, let's get into here and go and go and go with my low personal digital assistant. Okay, here's the wiki here as well. We can have a look at that. Ah, here we go. So that's better. This is actually a good tool, okay? Measure lobster. Uh, yellow, low result. Green, medium result. Blue, best result. Yeah, okay. Lobster pots, how to use. Alright, so where the tail starts, so there. From the eyes. There. Okay? That's what we're looking at. Okay, groovy. Alright, so we are... Oh, it stopped us, okay. Continue, my friend. Don't know why you stopped us, but you did. Okay, there's a little port in there. There's one here. There must be little ports everywhere. There's one up around there, over there on that little island. That's cool, okay. So let's, um... Let's find our way in now. Into harbour ourselves. We'll do a bit of driving. Have a look around. Someone's beautiful little home down here. It's a nice little spot to live. I don't know how they... How they get? They must just take a boat into town. That's that'd be cool if you owned a place and you could get a little boat into town. Okay, so 800 meters away from our destination and closing fast. Look at these other little trawlers in here and stuff. It's very cool. Now there generally is a speed uh, you're supposed to set yourself to, like a certain amount of knots when you're coming into ports and harbours. Just depends on uh, where you're coming into, but general rule of thumb, you want to probably keep below 10 knots. We'll come screaming in at 12 because, hey, it's a game. <laughs> Alright, so. All very exciting. All very exciting. Uh, now, obviously, with some of these boats, we're, we're, we've got the basic of the basic. You can do lots of upgrades. Your mouth, okay? We've discovered your mouth, not your nose. All right, your mouth, not mine. Uh, so, welcome to your mouth. <laughs> I can't say that without, without smiling. All right, let's back the speed down to, like, seven, six, five, five knots. Yeah, we're coming at five knots, please. That's nine. Back it down. Coming in nice and steady. Now, we'll come back to zero, thanks. And then we'll hit the E for dock. Dock at your mouth. Okay. Fish tips. Go to the bar in town and get some tips on the best spots for fishing. <laughs> Go to the bar in town and get, get some tips on the best uh, food in town. Okay. Fish on board. Would you like to sell your catch at your mouth? Sure. All right, there we can see the prices of things. Obviously, different ports are going to have better prices where you, wherever you go. You have successfully docked at the port. You can sell your catch by pressing the sell catch button. Okay. Uh, sell catch just here. Quantity 78, fresh 100%, and uh, revenue uh, $4,283. That's too bad. Okay, sell. Okay, we didn't get any fines, so we must have... Normally, if you have, if you're trying to sell undersized fish or that, or the wrong, you know, fish that you're supposed to put back or, or lobster you're supposed to put back, you do get a fine. So, congratulations, you successfully sold your catch. This ends the tutorial. When you get other boats with different fishing methods, the tutorial will be available for the first time. Oh dear, we're on our own, gang. We are on our own. Okay. Right, so, like it said, we can go to town here. So we can do boat maintenance and shipyards. We've got upgrades here. We can upgrade the engine, right? So, hoo, 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 hoo. what does that get us? 150 horsepower. Snap. Uh, that gets 250 and 400 horsepower. Holy moly. Uh, we can get better radars, okay? Upgrade the radar to increase the range of discovering hidden locations and boats. Very cool. Autopilots, that's what you want. Autopilot lets your boat steer itself and hold a uh, preset course. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll check out that later. Fishing quotas, so we can upgrade our, our storage, basically, for our fishing quotas. Uh, sonars for the fish finders, right? Uh, standard buoys, upgraded buoys, this will help you see them better out at sea. 
it's not a bad idea to upgrade that. Uh, maybe we should get that one with the flag. Uh, just hold off on upgrades for a second because maybe we'll look at seeing what the next ships are when we can finally get one. Uh, and a searchlight. Okay, we've just got the standard searchlight. So we'll just keep everything standard to start with. We don't want to just go spending money willy-nilly straight off the bat until we get to know what's going on. And obviously there's no shipyard here or rigging, so we can't see what the go is there. We can go to the fish market. We can check the prices of fish, right? That's how you check what's what's out and about. Uh, and then fishing gear here. So we can buy some small pots. We've got wooden lobsters top. Pots. What's the deal with steel ones? Unbated steel lobster pots. We currently have three of a maximum 12 small pots. <laughs> okay, so it looks like, as it says here, 1st of November to 31st of May. What I'm struggling to find, I actually want to like click on a calendar and have an actual calendar in front of me. Maybe I just can't find it, but we're in the 2nd of April now, so we've only got one month left of lobster fishing, basically, for terms of season, okay? And then we'll ha we're going to have to rig up the ship for something different. However, let's just take a look. Let's go into town here and just ask where the best spots are. So we'll go to town. Here you can hire a crew. Chick crew house where you'd hire a crew uh, placed, okay? We don't need to worry about that. Let's go to the bar. Let's go for some tips. Get locations of lobsters from free today. Yes, purchase that. Okay. Um, a week ago. No, I don't want to do that. I just want today's today's tips, please. Okay, now if I go to the map. Ah, oh, see. And look, if you find a spot, you can actually put it on here where you want that spot. So just FYI. But so out here, it looks like it is. Uh, we are here. Right, so let's set a... Uh, actually, we need to make sure we got enough bait, don't we? Okay, let's make sure we've got enough bait and stuff ready to go for lobstering. So let's go to the fish market. Uh, upgrade. Upgrade your gutting knife, binocular, and hook. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, well, do we? Okay. Let's just do for us. Ooh, we don't need to worry about that yet. I remember that little mini game. Okay, knife. We don't need to worry about that yet. And binoculars. We'll just have the old ones. Okay, I want to actually go fishing gear. Buy bait, lobster bait, please. Uh, can I, can I? That seems like a weird system. Can I type it in? Can only go three. Buy. Okay. Uh, small pots. Should we buy some small pots or? Oh, buy small. We'll buy the steel ones, thanks. Twelve. Okay. Can we can we really buy twelve? Okay, we'll buy twelve of those. All right, Miss Potts. Uh, I want to get out of here, please. Oh yeah, look at all our pots. Okay, well at least we know we've got plenty of pots stored up. Uh, we're driving into the uh, F F E E. All right, let's go. Let's go forward, please. And we want to, uh, we want to push off without actually... Oh, Gary! Let's just reverse it up. We'll reverse it up, and then we won't grind against the actual... Do there, we have, there are no tires on this dock. Okay, let's go. Let's go full beans backwards, please, and then we can do a spinner. Now you got to be careful when you when you're doing a turn backwards and you go to drive forward, you'll still be turning as you drive forward. So you want to make sure you apply uh, right hand down. Otherwise, you'll once you go forwards, you'll go actually left hand down. And the boat will swing the wrong way. I know that doesn't quite make sense, but if you're not too careful when you're reversing, it's not like a car, you know. So just remember that. Okay, so we're going to go out to our fishing spot here. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's get out there and do this. Can we get to there, to there, to there, to there, to there, and over to here. Thanks. Okay. Make it happen. Okay. I don't know if we should have filled up with a bit of fuel or not as well. We didn't check that out at all. 
Okay, there's someone out here. Oh, look at this guy. He's already out here trawling. We're going to just push up this way a little bit. We're going to... get Gary's... We're going to go to war here. And we're going to burn past this ship. And really upset he's catching. <laughs> we're going to be like, you know what? It's We're going fishing walls already. Hey, mate, this is our territory. Get out of here. He's probably there going, get away, we're fishing here. And we're upsetting his catch. Take that. This is our spot. Right, we're going to head over to here. I don't know if it means the arrow. Should We should go to the arrow section. But we should bring up the fish finder, definitely. Okay. What we're trying to look for here is maybe lobster. Lobster will be uh, probably low-lying, I would assume. Okay, 100 meters sonar, not good enough. Right. Well, I think this is the spot anyway. I think we should have a go here. Let's, um, let's bait up and try this out, shall we? We'll just give it a go. Unless we should go a little bit further to where the actual lobster symbol is, but I thought maybe where the arrow is. Okay, it's all hard to know because this wasn't in the tutorial this part, and I'm learning this too. While I played Fishing Baron C, I never did lobster catching, so I don't know the ins and outs of everything. Right, beautiful. Look at that. Right, let's come this way a touch. Let's just try it here, I think. Okay, this spot was recommended to us, so let's go. Let's get up. Give me one of these, please. Put it there. Yep. And, uh, set point. Beautiful. Let's move to the next spot, please. I need a rear driving section. Uh, do we... I assume we go forward a little bit further and set the next pot. And in fact, I think we should just set ourselves to go at about... Probably one knot. Okay, let's see how that goes. Okay, let's get the next pot up. Now, I don't know if this is right. I'm just, I'm literally using um, methods from the last time I played this game. We probably need to be going a little bit f further forward, thanks. Set, set the, set the, set the, can't set the pot. Can we only set one pot at a time? Ah, there we go. Right, you just have to be a certain distance, I think. So we'll just keep going in a bit of a straight line like this for a bit. And uh, maybe we'll set, maybe we'll set five to start with. So that's two. I'm not going to set all of them. We'll just set five and see how we go. Okay, you have to be a certain distance though from the last one. We'll keep going in a bit of a straight line. I can't even see the last one now. Set the pot. There we go. You have 95 bait remaining. We've got heaps. What are you talking about? We could set every single pot here. Okay, let's just check our... Ooh, oh, okay. Here's a heap of lobster coming up here. Oops. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so, yeah, a bit further on. We'll see how it goes, okay? So, let's go back uh, to this. Oh, we're getting the hang of this lobster stuff now. Okay. If only I could look at the fish finder. Uh, can I switch that fish finder? Ah, bugger. Okay. Oh, look at them all here. Right. Uh, now I don't know where we are in comparison. Maybe the middle, maybe the not. But you can see our buoys here. Right. Get up and see if we can set this one. Maybe we'll go a couple more. Just a couple more. Now that we're getting into the good stuff. Flailing all over the place here. It's a very, very, very dark night. Oh, 
Oh yeah, look at all these. Hey, come on, let me set it, let me set it, let me set it. Come on. Yes, good job. Now, <laughs> I wasn't gonna go this many, but bugger it. I think we, uh, we were root premature with the drop, but now that we can see where there's actually lobsters, uh, I'm crazy not to. Oh, look at this! Okay. Come on, set the pot. S set the pot. We're steaming along nicely at the moment. All right, we'll go one more. Will we do them all. Twelve's a lot. We got a lot of bait though. Oh yeah, okay, we should probably chuck them all in. Right, so we're coming up to the setting the last pot and I probably popped off a little bit too prematurely. So what I want to do while we wait here, I'm actually going to put another lobster oh, probably about there, okay? Because realistically, that's where we are now and that's where it seems to be a lot of the lobsters, just a little bit further north from there. Okay, now it probably would have paid to drive around a little bit more, but I just want to get stuff done for this game, get stuff sorted. But, uh, right, let's set the last pot anyway. Uh, let's shut the fridge now because this is the last pot going in. Bush, okay. Now, that, the thing we've got to do now, right, is uh, wait. Alright, so let's go view. So that was our last pot. Look at these fish and pollock. Redfish, redfish, that one's having a nap on the bottom with the lobsters. Okay, so let's just speed you back the truck up here for a sec. What I want to do, I'm actually going to now spin us back around the bottom here. Like so. Now we've got to wait about 20 hours, so we're probably looking... We've got to wait basically till they're about blue. So 46 minutes they've been going for, 1 hour and 35 minutes. So we've probably got another 19 hours of uh, traveler of waiting time uh is there a way we can just wait i think you have to go back to port and wait but what we could do let's just see if we drive up to here how long that takes maybe we can uh, we can actually un unlock a new or we could unlock this place over here okay okay let's go over here and unlock this place and yeah we're at four hours so we can keep an eye on that so that's set about five hours distance traveling there to there. Right, let's just come out of here for a sec because we've unlocked Grand Manan Island Discovered. Right, cool. Let's come in here now. Because what's this? Is this a ship? We can't... I can't see a ship. <laughs> I can't see a ship! Let's get some... Uh, have we got some... Switch the, switch off the work lights for a second. So keep them on. Switch off, switch on searchlight. That doesn't help. Switch off the interiors. No, we want the running lights on. You want to have your running lights on. And where's our horn? Let's wake up the neighbors. And um, let's go back to view. We can't, I legit can't see ship. Six knots, I'm pretty sure that'll say. Slow down. Speed limit is six knots. I don't know if there's a fine system in here as well. We'll do about that. Come on, quicker. Engage warp engines, Mr. Zulu. Right, we'll go that. We'll sit just a little bit above. Very, very exciting go. I'm actually, this is a really good relaxing game and a game we're probably going to play a little bit on stream as well. So uh, lock yourselves in for a bit of fun for that when we do a bit of uh, fishing North Atlantic stream. All right, look at the fish around here actually. We've got Pollock around here and we've got more lobsters here actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there's lobsters up here. Just outside of, uh, of these plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I zoom out? No, I can only zoom in. Right, so we'll leave a lobster there because 
Lobster sighted. All right, I'm not having this. Let's just get into town because, uh, for the sake of the game. Ingles head discovered. All right, so here we are. Achievement unlocked. Discovered Ingles head. Cool, cool bananas. All right, let's pull in here and see if we can probably, we could probably rest a few hours before heading back as well. And that's probably the other good thing about pulling into ports. We might be able to fuel up as well. I uh, feel we're looking pretty good though, we don't need to. Alright, let's whip in. What's the first dock? Alright, so let's check the docks here. Shipyard! Alright, let's see what's available. So we can buy the Knots Guilty. Look at this thing. Oh, what, a, what a tub that is! Uh, and the Double Trouble. I'll give you Double Trouble. Alright, these are much bigger ships than ours. That's for sure. One... Is that $1,195,000? And that uh, is $1,150,000. Uh, very much out of our price range, uh, by the way. We'd need a big loan for that. So you can see how, how much it costs to actually buy new ships in this. Uh, okay. Back, thanks. Let's do uh, rigging. Oh, we're rigged for lobster, so that's fine. Upgrades... I don't think we need to really worry about that. Can we? Is there general time skip? Yeah, okay, we don't want to worry. I just, I'll figure out the time. I actually want to see if there's a way. There's got to be a way, maintenance. Here you can buy fuel, repair your boat, or change the name on your boat. Oh. Alright. And no Yankee. How do I do that then? Upgrades. Upgrades. Storage. Engine. Radar. Autopilot. Okay, where do I do that? Maintenance. Oh, okay. We may as well purchase fuel. Fill it up. Okay. Now, repair the hull. What? Okay, repair. That's expensive, isn't it? Okay, we may as well do that. We'll change the colour for free. Ooh. Ooh, now. Okay. Oh, we could go... <laughs> really out of yellow. Sometimes black's quite nice. Alright, seeing as this was the boat that our... Our, um, our auntie gave us, we'll just leave it the, the colour it's meant to be. Uh, but the name, we're not going to go with the No Yankee. We're going to go with... Glitter time for Gary Glitter because <laughs> it's glitter time. <laughs> We're gonna leave it nice, bright yellow. All right, rename that for uh, actually. What's the uh, we can change the uh, ooh, we can change the font. Very cool. Glitter time like that, please. Font size, yeah, make it big and uh, font color. Oh, no, that doesn't work. The blue kind of works, not really. White probably would be better, but the yellow. Probably is the best. Can we make it a touch like a bit more sandy colored yellow? I, I'm thinking that. Rename. Okay, is that it? Is that done? Renamed? Uh, Gary Glitter Time! Alright, so Gary Glitter. <laughs> it's, 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 boat. okay. Um, now I want to check, bring up the map for me because we need to actually check. The time on these. So we want to go to the first pot, which is six hours. So we could rest for ten hours, come back, four hours drive, I'm thinking might just get us there. So let's rest for ten. Okay. Now let's go general. Let's skip time. Maybe I'll do nine hours. Skip nine hours for us. Okay, go. Okay, so we've skipped nine hours. Uh, yes, please. Map. They're starting to come into the yellow time now. So they're only at 14 hours still, really? No. Yeah, I suppose that's right. Nine and four because they're at five, so 14. Maybe we'll go another couple of hours. It's good to just sort of do it periodically, like skip just in intervals because you don't want to overshoot. Let's go another three. 
let's um, have a look now. They're in the green zone, right? So let's start heading back now. Okay, I didn't. We didn't find any boats, but we haven't done a ship uh, a tour around the island. That's what you got to do: tours in and around the island to see if you can unlock vessels. Okay, but in the meantime, let's come back down here to the start. that okay let's see how that goes go no, no no take that out okay can you uh stop doing that please okay something's not right here is it because i'm still in here i need to get out first And then it will allow me to fast travel potentially because I'm still in at the uh, birthing area. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's glitter time. <laughs> it makes me happy. All right, let's see if we can do it now. Yes, okay. So let's keep an eye on our uh, timings here. 18. They'll start turning blue and that's the perfect time for us to start picking them up. Okay. Here we go. So the first one we're coming up to is straight up here. We want to keep it on our port side because that's where our crane is. Now this is going to be a little bit tricky to try and do this. And we've got to figure out our line. Looks like it shoots up. Uh, it's here. Yeah, it's a little bit crooked, but we'll be right. So I want to just back off the speed a touch. I'm going to try and swing. Swing us around because it's a little bit tricky with the current. The swell at the moment is making this a little bit tougher. I don't want to overshoot it. Okay, back it down a touch there, champ. Get ready. Oh, we overshot it, see? Too quick. We'll be right, we'll get it. And there's our line up there of our... Okay, come on. Oh, we were in for so much longer. There we go, we got it. Okay, let's haul that. Let's see what we got on our first catch. If we got anything, that is. Can I, um, can I, um... I was stuck, I was actually stuck. All right, so... I had to get out, I was, I was stuck. Okay, let's open the pot. Alright, this is exciting. Oh, uh, I'd say that's, uh, yeah, we'll keep that. Uh, we'll keep that. Alright, uh, you're back. See ya. And, uh, you, ooh, you're a big one. We'll keep you as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep you. Okay, and we'll put you back on the deck. Lovely. Now, I want to keep that box open, I think. I, I don't know if I can or not. I don't know if that's the way to do it. But it's the way we're doing it. Oh, we've actually got to be going backwards the whole time. Right, so let's keep going up this way. Come on. It's got a really small area. Okay, and also, I just want to make sure we're not going too far forward here. So I want to actually just throttle down to stop, please. Or we do this because I want to make sure we're lined up for the next one. Okay, hopefully we've got enough crates for this as well. Alright, lovely. Okay, it looks like we should. Okay, so open that up. Uh, let's open you up. Uh, I'm going to throw you back. I don't want to risk it straight off the bat. I'm going to keep you. I'll keep you. You're gone. Um, yeah, we'll keep you. All right, you're borderline, I think, though. You're definitely going back. We'll keep you. Keep you. Right, there's more in here than I thought, actually. Right. Close the lid, pick that up, and store it underneath. All right, so we're getting the hang of this now. Right. <coughs> Excuse me while I clear my throat. So the good, hey, what's that dude doing over there? My arch nemesis over here is getting in the way. Right, where's our next one? Is straight ahead. 
So what I'm going to do, gang, is I'm going to now employ a bit of music. I want you to just sit back, relax, and watch Gary Glitter, the Glitter Time, <laughs> struggle to haul in his first shipment of lobsters. You know, you got to start somewhere. I say it in Farming Sim all the time. you got to start somewhere and learn. Uh, but Gary Glitter, ladies and gents, is we're about to take in our first haul of lobsters, head back to port, and sell them off. I'll see you guys close to the end. Enjoy this time lapse. Well, here we are, back on the deck, gang. I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of time lapse. And you might have seen one of our rivals was trying to uh, park right in our line of where we're trying to haul in all our uh, all our lobster. Could you believe it? Oh, dirty trick. It's a dirty trick to try and set you off your lines and um, and uh, get less of a catch. So uh, I'll be watching out for that guy again. That's for sure. Now, I'm not going to say we've got massive hauls, because we haven't had massive, massive hauls, but we're not doing too badly. Uh, last one just here now, anyway. I uh, got a little bit, bit of an achievement. I kind of missed what it was. I didn't know if it was like 10,000, or maybe it's 10,000 kilos. I think we can check our haul in here, can we, though? Um, here, this is it. 5,658 kilograms worth of uh, that. I think fresh fish, two, three, four, one. That was the... Uh, that was like the achievement we got, something like that, I think. It is, like that number did pop up down in the achievement, I'll have to check it out later, but uh, pretty cool. I like getting, I like getting the uh, Steam achievements, it's fun. <laughs> okay, so this is the last pot here anyway, then we can head back into port and sell them off and see how much we make. Now there's a few borderline ones, that's for sure. A few I was a little bit iffy on. Uh, but uh, we, we'll see how they go because I was, yeah. I was like, uh, should I, shouldn't I? And I risked it for the biscuit on some of them. And in other ones, I was just like, nah, it's too close to call. Uh, so I left it. Right, so this is the last pot here. Let's see how it goes. All right, not as many as I thought, though. Ooh, yeah, see, I don't know if they start to get borderline there or not. Like, that one definitely probably should go back. Uh, we'll keep it and see how close that is to the last one. You just, it's hard to know. That one's definitely in. Okay, that's a big sucker, that one. Yeah, see, tough to know if that should go in or not. I'm going to take it regardless. Uh, last one that was, we'll see. You put it down below. And in the storage section, that's all our pots. 
All right, Miss Potts. All right, glitter time. <laughs> Let's head back to port. Uh, where are we going to sell them, by the way? I don't want finance. Map. Uh, where's the best place to sell? Don't know where the best place to sell is. Oh, we haven't even got into fishing and gutting and all that sort of stuff. Like, I like, I actually like the, the gutting and stuff mini games. Okay, we'll, we'll just head back to here, your mouth. <laughs> we'll just head back to your mouth. Now, the thing is, you would just keep rebaiting and re-going, right? But for the sake of the videos, we're going to go in and sell our first catch and see what we can actually get for today. Seeing as we've done a lot already uh, in terms of... Um, in terms of uh, traveling around, doing the tutorial, and doing our first big haul of, you know, 12 lobster pots. So, I think that's enough for today. We'll sell it up. We'll be coming in in the, in the dark of night. Alright. Here we go. Fish on board. Would you like to sell your catch to your mouth? Yes, please. Okay. Ah, uh, undersized lobsters, 5,000. Holy snap and duckfish. Yeah, okay. Five undersized lobsters. So, 1,000 each. Okay, sell the catch. Whoa, gang. So, there you go. We made a good, uh, sizable amount of money straight off the bat. We might do some upgrades next time to the Gary Glitter. To the Glitter. <laughs> Let me know what you think anyway if you enjoyed today's episode. There'll be plenty more fishing barrens, uh, fishing North Atlantic, not fishing barren sea, coming your way. And stay glued to the channel for plenty more uh, else happening uh, in terms of uh, other playthroughs as well. So thanks for joining me again. Hope you liked it. Smash that like um, and subscribe button if you did. And uh, definitely leave your tips, tricks, comments, hints. And uh, everything down below, I like to have a chat to you guys, you know I do. And uh, that's it. Stay safe wherever you are. Stay glued to your screen. Bye for now.